All right, it's the Chief again. I'm done telling you it's live because it's not really live. I just like to say that and think I'm a movie star. But anyways, coming from Bakersfield, California, I'm gonna spend a little time and talk to you about printing with PETG. All right, so what we're looking at here are some keychains that I'm printing out of PETG. Now this one in particular is a Solutech 3D PETG made in the USA, although there's a lot of good brands on the market. Uh, this one in particular is the translucent yellow, which you can see by the video. Some things to, to, to take note on PETG, I know when uh, I first started printing it, it was a fair to print with, but once I got tuned in and there was some excellent content on Rigid Inc.'s website and their blog about printing the PETG, I think those guys do an awesome job uh, giving the details. Yeah, I took some of those pointers and fine-tuned it here a little bit better and it's turned out to be one of my favorite filaments to print with. And you'll see some details, some other parts that I printed with it later in the video. Some things to note about PETG, it's a really soft material. It's a little different than ABS or PLA. It stays relatively hard until it gets to a higher temperature and then softens quickly. This gradually softens as temperature gradually increases. So when you get the temperature wrong, or if you're just a little bit low, it starts to get goobery. And it's not good for every single part. There's been parts that I've printed with PETG. I made some clips for spark plug wires, uh, some looms for spark plug wires out of PETG, and within a week they softened up and the spark plug wires just fell right out of it. So I reprinted it in ABS. Uh, so it's, it's a material that is very durable. Um, very strong and, and can be good in the right applications. Uh, some things to take note of is uh, the retraction. I have my retraction set at 3.6 millimeters and at a speed of 15 millimeters per second. Uh, you can print at whatever layer height you want and get great detail, especially if you're using a fan for good crisp detail and no blobbing. And make sure you leave enough distance on the print bed for the first layer just to make sure that you don't end up uh, smearing it around or pulling stringers and you'll notice that right away. Just give yourself more gap. I print mine at 230C on the extruder head and 80C on the build plate and I use a cooling fan uh, but like I said if, if you want really durable parts you can leave the fan off. If you want really crisp clean parts put the fan on at 100%. And I print a little bit slower. It's a soft material. I print at 55 millimeters per second. If you find that it's oozing on you and uh, leaving a lot of blobs, uh, try backing off the extrusion rate uh, a little bit. It does not like over extruding and it'll pick that stuff up and eventually it gets hard and wrecks your parts and I kind of learned that the hard way. So just keep backing off the extrusion until you get to a point where, where it looks like it's extruding enough. Temperature, maybe, you should be printing somewhere between uh, 225 and 240C. Uh, I got mine set at 230 with pretty good results. Okay, so here you can see some of the parts that I made with the PETG. Um, came out pretty solid, right? Let's see if I can get a better zoom on it. There we go. Looks good. There was you know, no oozing, very clear, very crisp edges. Um, and over here is another piece I made to PETG. You can see like how fine the threads are. The black's PETG and the clear is. The green's ABS and then the gold over here is a PLA. Um, not, not for any other reason to pick, but I did want to print the PETG. You can really see this is starting to turn out to be my, uh, my favorite filament to use. Very strong, durable. Uh, it's got some bend quality to it. Uh, prints very nice. You know, once you get it figured out, it's, uh, it's tough to beat. So, you know, these are the bottom. So this is two pieces here, right here. And they're joined together. Here's the pins that hold them in. Um, but then this was the bottom on one side. And you can see I had a little bit of lift on this side, but uh, it's just a fraction. You can't really, you can barely see it there. It was actually, I don't know, got snagged or something happened, and I cleaned that off the bed. Uh, but you can see how crisp the threads are. Just just absolutely beautiful if I get a focus on it. There we go. Very sharp. Works very well. Um, you know, low coefficient of friction, so it's very slick. I'll give you the print settings one more time. It's cheap burning rubber. Thanks for watching.